Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys have already been subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Today, we're going to do a full face of clean beauty brands. Some of them are high end, some of them are affordable. So it's a great mix of both of them. And if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. I'm super, super excited. Let's start off with a primer. So the brand that I'm going to use today is going to be Say. Now I've used this before. I'm not super impressed by this. It's like an illuminator, I would say, but I'm going to concentrate this on like my outside portion of the face since it doesn't do much on my face. And I'm going to use more of an affordable primer right in the center of my T-zone. So since we are concentrating on clean products today, now I am not made like a conscious decision to use only clean products. It's definitely good for our skin. And uh, since I have a lot of things happening on my skin, I thought we should experiment that. What more of a like a better time to experiment, right? For the center of my face, I'm gonna take my ELF's Putty Primer. Now ELF is a very affordable brand and being clean, it always, you know, is a plus point. So I'm just gonna concentrate that on like my center of my face. I'm gonna press it right where I have a lot of pores, a lot of texture, which is almost all of my face, but yeah. <laughs> just so that it can give us like a smooth base. Now you will see a trend. We do not have that many brands that are like clean, but the brands that we have clean, we're gonna test out if that is good enough to give like us a full face of like good makeup. Let's move on to the brows. This is the ELF's Instant Lift Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Neutral Brown. So I'm just gonna roughly fill my brows and I'll get right back. Now let's move on to the foundation. Now I have never tested this out before and this is from Kosas and this is called their Tinted Face Oil. I just got like a perk but I really really wanted to test it out. Now I don't know how is it going to react with my skin texture and all and is it going to give me enough coverage or not. If not, I'm definitely going to mix either my LYS uh, foundation or else Camo CC Cream because both of them have a lot of coverage, but I definitely wanted to test this out. I'm gonna take the shade 5.5 and see if it is any good on our skin or not. So the claims are it keeps you hydrated with six nourishing botanical oils for a light to medium coverage, weightless feel, smooth and luminous finish. It just says apply two to four drops. So I don't know for my like big round face is two to four drops enough or not but I will try. So it's super, super liquidy as you can see and definitely a little light, especially like right now, but we're gonna test it out and see. And since it says it gives like a luminous finish, it might not be good for me, especially right now when I have a lot of texture, but we'll anyways test it out. So that was like two drops. Very light coverage for sure. It, it just smells like botanical oils. And that's what it is. I'm gonna see if I can build it up or not. So I'm gonna just apply, I would say two more drops. I definitely don't wanna be oily because I am a combo skin person but I do want a little more coverage too. It's a tad bit light on me, the shade 5.5, but it is workable for sure because I can like put bronzer on top of it and make it work. It definitely has like an olive undertone, so that is good. So it definitely is super, you know, dewy. <laughs> I'm happy with the coverage, I would say, like for a tinted oil, it is a good coverage. So happy about that. Didn't expect to like that for sure. <laughs> but now whatever I have to cover up, I'm just gonna apply a few dots of concealer. I don't think I need to apply any more foundation on top of it. So I'm gonna keep it at that and see, check it out at the end of the day if it is oily or not. I'll leave it on the screen for you guys, how it applied. For my concealer, I'm gonna take my ELF's Camo Concealer and this is in the shade Medium Beige. I'm gonna apply that, it's super peachy. So it'll take care of my dark circles. But I'm gonna just apply this. 
So this would definitely give me the coverage that I really want or at least the coverage that I'm looking for. And now to set the under eyes, I'm just going to take my ELF's Halo Glow Setting Powder. I really am a big fan of this powder. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm in the shade medium. I'm going to apply only underneath the eyes and on top of my eyelid so that it doesn't crease. And for my entire face, I'm going to take my Kosas Cloud Set Powder and I'm in the shade Comfy. I'm going to lightly dip into it. I cracked mine. <laughs> That's why it looks like that. I'm going to apply it on my entire face. But I really, really, really like this powder. Very, very lightweight. I've mentioned this quite a few times on my channel. It's really good for people of all skin types, I would say. But especially if you are of a dry skin type, you would absolutely love it because it doesn't feel like anything on the skin. But it does set beautifully oh i didn't apply any cream products but we are going to apply on top of the powder because that's how we roll for the bronzer i'm just going to take my elf's putty bronzer and this is in the shade golden days i'm absolutely loving this cream bronzer very subtle but seamless Especially if you're looking for like a golden undertone cream bronzer. This is absolutely stunning. Now for the cream blush. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what cream blush I'm going to use. You can definitely use the Elf's Putty Blush. But I am going to choose Tower 28 because you know I love that. And I cannot wait to try this again. <laughs> so... For today, I'm going to use the shade called Magic Hour and maybe I'll also mix a tiny little bit of After Hours also, but we'll see. This is like my everyday shade. I love like this is such a pinky nude shade, apt for everyday I would say. And see, I've applied it on top of the powder. But all these cream products that I'm using today has like more of a powdery finish. So it doesn't mess up any of the foundation that has been laid underneath. For now, we'll just stop at that because I don't want to be like blush heavy today. Unlike me, I know. Now for the bronzer, I'm going to dip into my LYS bronzer. And this I'm basically going to use it like my contour shade because I have another affordable bronzer with me which I really, really like. I like this too, but I definitely wanted to mention that too. This is little more on like the cool tone side. And if you want one from the affordable, you cannot go wrong with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So I'm gonna apply that. And this is in the shade Bronzer. The LYS Bronzer, I was in the shade called Courage, which is for tan people. It's definitely more on like a darker side for me. So if you are looking for uh, checking out LYS, I would say check out the shade called Harmony from their line if you are around my skin tone. For the highlighter, I'm going to take my Elf's Bite Size Face Palette in the shade Lychee. I absolutely love both of these products, I would say. The blush as well as the highlighter. And just blend it into my skin now let's move on to the eyes and the eyeshadow palette that i'm going to use is from bh cosmetics now this brand as well as their eyeshadows are so affordable so blendable so impactful you're going to see and i am going to do like a very simple look today but i am so 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 very excited so yeah let's begin
Now I'm going to quickly going to finish off my eyes with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. So that's how everything is looking so far. Let's quickly finish off our lips. For the lipstick, I'm going to take my Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Chai. They've come out with like new lipsticks, so many. I can't wait to try it. I have like a mini with me. And then I'm going to finish it off with like a lip gloss. And for the lip gloss, I would highly, highly recommend Tower 28's lip gloss. Today, I'm going to apply the shade called Cashew. I love that formula. So that's our final look, guys. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. And if you guys were looking into like clean beauty brands, you would find some of the favorites. My favorites are definitely Tower 28 cream blushes, the Elf Putty Bronzer, Tower 28's lip glosses, that Kosas powder. LYS everything has worked beautifully on me. But I really, really, really like this look. If you did like this look, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.